Welcome back to the Blue Ape Renewables YouTube channel. Today we're going to be installing the Powerwall 3 expansion pack, doubling the customer's uh, storage capacity ready for winter. We're going to take you through everything step by step um, so you can decide if this is something that would suit your house. Let's get into the video. So this is the Tesla Powerwall 3 expansion pack. It comes in this recyclable clamshell that will return to the manufacturer afterwards. And we're going to be installing it today down the side of the customer's house the customer already has one Tesla Powerwall 3, it's a single phase installation. Um, it's got two solar strings on the roof and we're mounting the next um, Powerwall expansion pack here. With the Tesla Powerwall 3 expansion packs, you can either stack them one on top of each other. In this case, that's not appropriate because it would block access down this entry. So we're gonna mount this one to the side. There's a wall mounting bracket um, that we'll measure up and get the correct dimensions. We'll place the pack expansion pack on the bracket, then we'll connect the special uh, Tesla lead. We'll then commission the system through the Tesla One app and the, and the customer uh, within an hour or two will be able to make use of their new product. So let's begin. Here's a century, it's the same as the other one. This is the Powerwall expansion pack connection cable containing all the power data cables, communications, all the rest of it. Comes in different lengths, half a meter, two meters, and even uh, four meters. In this case, we've chosen a uh, two meter length. Expansion pack mounted on the wall. The interconnecting cable is um, fastened and sealed. We're just going to put the glass front on now. Just going to be really careful not to scratch it on the floor and not to misalign the threads when we tighten it up. So the Tesla Power 3 expansion packs now fitted, it's up and running. This is the original Power 3, 13 and a half kilowatt hours of storage, um, 11 kilowatt output and 5 kilowatt battery charge from the grid. And then this is the expansion pack. It's very similar, slightly lighter, but still heavy enough, about 118 kilos. Another 13 and a half kilowatt hours of storage added to the Power 3 and the charge rate for the battery has now gone up from 5 kilowatts to 8 kilowatts um, from the grid. Now, if both the Power Free and the expansion pack are empty, it's possible at eight kilowatts to charge both to full to 27 kilowatt hours in about three and a half hours on the cheap rate at night. And that should be enough to run any um, normal home. Tesla Power 3 can have up to three expansion packs, which would take your potential storage up to 54 kilowatt hours. The eight kilowatt charge rate is consistent no matter how many expansion packs you have between one and three. So currently you can have a Powerwall 3 with up to three expansion packs, but you can also have three additional Powerwall 3s in what's called follower mode, which gives you a total possible storage of 94.5 kilowatt hours. So that's it, everything done, everything's installed, the customer's been run through the app. Um, another job well done. If you would like a Tesla at your house, um, please contact Blue 8 Renewables and don't forget to like and subscribe.